place temporarily. This is not where I'm going to be long term, but I wanted to talk to you about my process. So initially I was planning to Airbnb hop. I was just going to do that for maybe a month at a time. I would stay in different parts of the city. I had been advised that that's a very smart way to learn the city and to figure out where you want to be before planting yourself anywhere long term. So I had started looking for some listings and I wasn't really finding many things that were speaking to me. I found a few places that could work short term. So I was going to go along with those. I had been put in contact with a realtor late last year when I had decided that I was gonna move forward with coming here. And I had been talking to her about my plan to move, what I was gonna be looking for. And she just let me know that uh, I could reach out to her and she'd be happy to help me along you know, the process when I was ready to move forward. So as I got closer to my move date, I reached back out to her just to let her know when I was gonna be coming, that I was going to do the Airbnb option at first, which she also agreed was a smart idea to do. And I told her I had some Airbnb listings I was looking at and she so graciously offered to take a look at them for me to give, her, to give me her opinion if I wanted. And of course, I took her up on that. And ironically, this realtor happens to be the main contact for House Hunters International. And House Hunters International is one of my favorite shows and was a huge part of me ever even really thinking seriously about moving abroad. I had always been watching that show with like kind of a pie in the sky, you know, idea about moving abroad one day. And so I was tripping that I was watching a Mexico City episode one day and there was Vanessa, the same one of woman I've been talking to. So anyway, uh, she offered to look at the listings and I sent them to her and about five minutes later, she wrote back and she was like, uh, I'm gonna need you to keep looking. So thank goodness for Vanessa <laughs> stepping in and letting me know, okay, these aren't really the places that you wanna stay in. But she said she had some friends that um, she knew had some places that maybe might work for me, that you might have a room that they're looking to rent out. And so I was like, initially I was like a room because you know I want to live by myself so I certainly was not looking to live with anybody but I was like you know what let me remain open you never know let me just see about this so she put me in contact with those two people who were absolutely absolutely lovely but they just weren't going to be a good fit but what that did get me thinking about was okay maybe I might lean into a roommate situation at least initially so in one of my expat groups, someone had posted a WhatsApp group for some short-term ter short -term housing in the city. So I joined that group and I wanna say the following day, a woman named Talia had listed her three bedroom, three bath place in Escandon and she was looking for someone to rent a room there, your own room, your own private bathroom, um, all utilities and internet and security, house cleaning, everything included, the price was, unbelievable and I was like okay this sounds great the place looked great but I was like oh my gosh I really do not want roommates especially two roommates right and I was like okay but let me just see about it so I reached out to her talked to her she was great she gave me a live tour of the place and I was like okay and then also the one of the roommates that was here another ironic situation uh, was from Maryland not only from Maryland, but specifically from Silver Spring. And I was like, no, what are the odds? Like, what are the odds of that, right? So I was like, okay, maybe I should really consider this. So after thinking about it and talking to, you know, trusted friends and family about it, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and take a chance. She was only asking for a three month minimum to start with the ability to extend longer if I wanted to, which also gives greater flexibility. And it's not gonna be forever. So I was like, you know what? It may not be such a bad idea to have, you know, a built-in community, if you will, at home, people that have been here that know the lay of the land and a soft place for me to land. So once I started looking at it through that lens, I was like, okay, I know I can do the short term. And I'm so glad I did. I'm so glad that I decided to do that. I am here now, the place is fantastic. I definitely feel at home. Me and my true roommates are, getting along splendidly. They are amazing, we're having a great time. And it just goes to show you that sometimes you really do, especially when you're doing a big move like this, 
you have to be so open and flexible and lean into the unexpected and open yourself up to things that you didn't think that you would possibly do, right? I mean, you're already in a situation where you're doing something so drastic that you might as well just really lean in to things. And so I'm glad that I did that. And this whole journey for me is about learning how to lean in, release more control and go with the unexpected and it's gonna stretch me and it's already doing that. So I just wanna just encourage, if you are considering doing something or making a big move, whether it be abroad or otherwise, that it's important to remain open and flexible because you just never know how things might turn out. And things are turning out really great for me and my living situation. So I will cut to a little bit snippets of um, the place and um, I'll be here until at least October, and then we'll see where I land next, and I look forward to seeing what my place is gonna look like, and when that happens, I will of course share that as well. So, until next time.